Now moving on to the ninth question. In parallelogram ABCD, two points P and Q are taken on diagonal BD such that DP is equal to BQ and show that first thing triangle APD is congruent to triangle CQB and second AP is equal to CQ third triangle AQB is congruent to triangle CPD and triangle and AQ is equal to CP and lastly he asked us to prove that AP CQ is a parallelogram now moving on to solution let us note down the given information that is ABCD is a parallelogram let us note down the properties of the parallelogram that is AB will be parallel to CD and also AB will be equal to CD and AD will be parallel to BC and AD will be also equal to BC now he asked us to prove first thing triangle APD is congruent to triangle CQB second thing AP is equal to CQ third thing triangle AQB is congruent to triangle CPD fourth AQ is equal to CP and last APCQ is a parallelogram in the first thing he has asked us to prove that triangle APD is congruent to triangle CQB so let us consider both triangles that is triangle APD and triangle CQB in this AD is equal to BC as we know that ABCD is a parallelogram opposite sides will be parallel and equal and next thing let us consider that AD is parallel to BC and BD as diagonal then we get angle ADP is equal to angle QBC as AD is parallel to BC and BD is diagonal or transversal we can say the alternate interior angles above the transversal will be equal so we can say angle ADP is equal to angle QBC as they are alternate interior angles now he has already given that BQ is equal to DP now here if we observe in both the triangles the two corresponding sides and included angle between them is equal so we can say by SAS property both the triangles are congruent that is triangle APD is congruent to triangle CQB we know that when two triangles are congruent then the corresponding sides and corresponding angles can be equated so here the corresponding sides AP can be equated to QC this is what our second subpart of proof required now in the third bit he asked us to prove that triangle AQB is congruent to triangle CPD and AQ is equal to CP in the fourth bit so in order to prove this let us consider both triangles that is triangle AQB and triangle CPD in this 
ए बी इज इक्वल टू सी डी सिंस ए बी सी डी इज ए पैरलोग्राम द ऑपोजिट साइड्स विल बी पैरल एंड ईक्वल एंड ही हैज गिवन दैट बी क्यू इज इक्वल टू पी डी हाउ एवर नाउ इफ वी कंसिडर दैट ए बी इज पैरल टू सी डी एंड बी डी एज डायगनल then angle abq will be equal to angle pdc since they are alternate interior angles now the two corresponding sides and the corresponding angle of both the triangles are equal therefore by SAS property, we can say triangle AQB is congruent to triangle CPD. When two triangles are congruent, we can say the corresponding angles and corresponding sides can be equated. So here, CP will be equal to AQ. This is for the Fourth support of proof required for us. Here, also we can equate the two corresponding angles, that is, angle AQB is equal to angle CPD. Now, if we consider line bqd here angle aqb and angle aqp form a linear pair so we know that sum of angles on a linear pair is equal to 180 degrees we can say angle aqb plus angle aqp is equal to 180 degrees and also angle here if we consider line qpd also angle qpc and and angle cpd form a linear pair so sum of angles on a linear pair is equal to 180 degrees as this both angles are equal to 180 degrees we can equate angle aqb plus angle aqp is equal to angle qpc plus angle cpd from the above we can say that angle aqb is equal to angle cpd so that can be cancelled on both sides then we get angle aqp is equal to angle qpc since angle aqp is equal to angle qpc we can say the two angles on either side of transversal qp is equal that means here the alternate interior angles are equal if aq is parallel to pc and also we know the we know that aq is equal to pc now similarly if we consider the first proof that triangle APD is congruent to triangle CQB. We can prove angle PQC is equal to angle APQ. So here also the two alternate interior angles about transversal QP will be equal. So we can say QC is parallel to AP and also initially we got that QC is equal to AP. So here if we consider in the figure AP QC AQ is parallel to PC and AQ is equal to PC and also 
QC is parallel to AP and QC is equal to AP. Here in this figure, the opposite sides are parallel and equal. So we can say AP QC is a parallelogram. This is what our fifth proof required.